and I'm watching like the Iowa caucus. And so the story is Bernie Sanders, oh, neck and neck with Hillary, and Ted Cruz uh, was great, and Ted Cruz won. I'm here to tell you Ted Cruz will not be president, and I'm here to tell you that uh, that Bernie Sanders will not be president. We're falling in love with the last thing we saw. First of all, Iowa is not reflective of the country. It's older than most states. It's less than 1% of the population. It is only 5% Hispanic and 3% black. It doesn't look like the current America. And again, it's much, much older than the rest of America, right? And um, so everybody's freaking out. They're like, oh, Ted Cruz won. Never forget, Iowa elected Rick Santorum, Mike Huckabee, Bob Dole, and eight years before his nomination, George W. Bush. Iowa liked Rick Santorum more than Mrs. Santorum. Okay, so don't fall in love with what you saw last night. That's not reflective of the bigger picture. That's just one place. You're going to go to a different state with different people, different demographics, different ages. But we do that. We fall in love with stuff. At one point last night, I'm watching, and they interviewed a sweet old lady. She was from Iowa. She's probably somebody's grandma. And they interviewed her, and she could not have been more pleasant. She was a wonderful woman. And she said, and I'm doing an old lady impersonation here with my crazy hair today. And she said, oh, I'm voting for Ted Cruz because he's going to protect us from ISIS. <laughs> I'm thinking, ISIS in Iowa? So they're not going to go to D.C. and capture our government. They're not going to go to New York and capture our money. They're not going to go to Florida and capture our real estate and beaches. They're going to seize control of our corn. That's where ISIS is going. Let me tell you something. If you live in Iowa, you are... The only way you could be safer from ISIS is if you were in a bomb shelter beneath the Atlantic Ocean. ISIS is not going to end up in Iowa. Uh, that's why I'm voting for Ted Cruz. He's going to save us from ISIS. Well, brother. So, again, don't fall in love with the last thing you saw. It should be noted. People now are pouring in on Carolina. The line has moved from four and a half to six. The belief that it, it will go to six and a half. Never forget this. What do wise guys do when a team scores over 40 in the playoffs? They bet the other team. Because when a team scores 40 points in the NFL playoffs, they are 5 and 23 against the spread in the next game. So the wise guys go the opposite of the public. So let's let's slow down. Iowa isn't reflective of who's going to be president. Last night doesn't mean anything. Now they move on to another state, Carolina, Arizona. Arizona's not in the Super Bowl. It's going to be all new coaches, all new players, all new, all new receivers, all new defensive players. Let's slow down.